just put spit on you. Is he short shifting? I'll blow this Yo. thing up, man. Oh! Gary got poop on me this morning. Ew. Gary just put spit on you. Shit and spit now. It's Gary! It's all pre-game. That's just getting fired up, getting juiced. For getting what? Loose. For the action that's about to go down. Oh. Welcome back to This Versus That, sponsored by NASA Energy Drink. We got two unique cars out here, and I'm telling you unique. One is definitely looks like a Frankenstein. The other one looks like something that Mike would daily. I don't understand. Because you're an American. <laughs> Anyways, and we should go one. check them out. Yeah, let's do it. What's your name and what'd you bring us? My name is Matt, Caliber Customs. I think I've seen you before. Yeah, we have met. Yeah. I've seen ah, you, you remember that <laughs> one, huh? Yeah, yeah. Stop trying it, to keep Gary. that covered up, you know? Stop it. Are you leaking? Yeah, no, don't worry about that. It's marking its territory, all right? I put some stop don't, leak in it. Oh, that's God. Mustang piss right It'll, there. Woo, that's spicy. What do you Brought got? Brought you guys a 2004 Mustang SVT Cobra Terminator that I purchased <laughs> brand new in 2004. Bone stock. I wanted to be that like 75 year old guy at the car show, you know, sitting Slide next into to his a car, car, being oh. like, yeah, I bought this new. Uh -huh. Then I, I, I kind of got the, the track bug and it, it evolved into this. And this is a hell of so a bug. Is this it's a evolved into a lot. What is, so what makes it a Terminator? 03 and 04, they codenamed this model the Terminator. And the reason why is because the 99 to 01 Cobras were a little bit underpowered from what they claimed. So this thing, when I got it new, stock put down 413 to the wheel. Is that also okay. a lawsuit, like false advertisement? Now it's it like <laughs> The, the no. insurance companies were Arnold after wasn't him for false advertising on the horsepower. The rates were supposed to be higher, so yeah. yeah. Arnold wasn't pumped on the Terminator thing. The governor came in and had to just... You think I'm funny, huh? Oh, nice. So these normally came with 4.6s in them, right? This is the stock original motor. This oh. thing doesn't burn any oil. I Ooh. change it like once every three years just because I feel like it. It stays clean. There's no blow by. This is the best motor Ford's ever built. I have no what? idea. What? It's a Wednesday motor. They signed their name on the valve cover, so we know who did it. How long is it going to take off uh, to take this hood off with all these uh, goddamn things? I had a feeling you were going to ask yes. about that. Can I help you? No, let him no, do my it. God. I want to see Don't. him do it. No, 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 it's like no, Mike, I'm sorry. Go Gosh, ahead. you're the one Go. drinking piss off the is floor. Is that piss? Get the click. The camera can't hurt you. Ooh. That is a very You said light the motor load. was stock, right? Yeah, the bone does, stock. Does this come with it? No, I added that. What does this <laughs> so add to the stock. motor? That is a Gen 5. Count it. One, two, three, four. Five. I ran the 2.9 on there for many years. They came out with this new 3 liter a little while ago. Higher efficiency, so I got lower intake temps, power bump. So you're saying with this motor being stock, does it come from the factory with forged pistons, rods, or? Yep. Okay, that makes a little more yeah, sense. Yeah, forged rods, so, forged pistons, forged crank. So you can get away with just throwing a three liter supercharger on yeah. the top and just turn up the boost. So how much power with this Fury do you have? I'm making 670 right now. To the wheel, yeah. why? That's enough. Like what's, <laughs> like what's, no, not like that. Like what's the, what do you use this for? It looks like a goddamn Beetleborg, so I need to know. Oh, I used to compete in Global Time Attack a lot. Unfortunately, I don't have as much time as I used to. I, I used to drag race it a long time ago, but I how did good one are you track at drag racing. Pretty good. Let's take good care of this. Don't scratch it. And it looks like you're running a big set of meets up here. 315s up front. That was what? a challenge to fit those. 345s in the rear. That was a little bit easier. Running some Rays ZE40 bronze. Who's your A7s? Are those wheel weights taped on? Yeah, you didn't want those suckers flying off. And they've still moved? They slid in, huh? Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> what holds you inside interior-wise with all of this going on? You want to show us? Yes. Before I put these seats in, had the uh, stock seats, and you would your knees would just be bruised to hell after a day of a track in this. So threw these in, Sparco Ergo seats. Um, I thought it was cool to have the removable head yeah, restraints. Yeah, that's pretty interesting right there. I've also competed in some other time attack where one of the rules was I realized I would fit in a certain class if I had carpet on the interior. A um, hot boy class, Gary. I had to put some felt right here because the rule was no exposed sheet metal. So what ECU are you on? Is it stock? Stock ECU. What? Yeah. Damn. Damn. 
We got some uh, huh? fuel cell action going on. Okay. Lithium battery that weighs like six pounds. What does this weigh? 3,600, still pretty heavy. That's not bad. It's cool that you've got everything like- Factory. Yeah. Yeah, I did have to put a little stainless tube in there to keep it from kinking. You know, some people like kinky hose. I, I'm not a fan of them. I feel you. I, I actually run the kinky ones in my car. But There's another thing nice. I need to show you guys real quick though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, those are coolers. Yeah, so I got oh. my trans cooler, my diff cooler, and a fuel cooler too. Time attack things, bro. And then uh, I decided to modify my diffuser. We built all this in house. It's now a blown diffuser. So the exhaust exits through the center and it accelerates the air and sucks the car down to the ground. Sucking, blowing, just say, key, 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 key hoses. Yeah, this car is got a theme going on. Your car is nasty, bro. Yeah. What's your car's <laughs> name? Gary. Gary. Wow. Gary. Well, it's good to meet you, Gary. Let's go see what you're battling today. Is that a goddamn oh. Lamborghini Panorama? Look at that. What is, <laughs> oh, whoa. What is that? How's it going? How's it going? Uh, what is your name and what did you bring? My name's Corey. I'm from Sideways Fab, and I brought my uh, Ferrari Maserati swapped drift car. Huh? It's an FRS. It's the uh, Wish.com Ryan Turk car. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, of all <laughs> engines you could have put in here, what made you put a Ferrari engine in here? I really like Turk's car, and I wanted something similar, but I couldn't afford the 458 engine, so I went with this one. And How does it fit in here? Can we open this? Yeah, yeah, we can open it up. I was going to ask you, you said Ferrari Maserati. What's uh, what's the story on that? It's out of a Maserati Quattroporte. It's a F136 class engine. It has a cross plane crank instead of the flat plane. So it's oh. pretty much the same thing as the Ferrari California. Compression's a little different. This one's a 4.2 liter. It has Ferrari California headers on it that are flipped backwards. It's got a Ferrari California Ooh. intake manifold on it that's modified for port fuel injection because it came off a direct injected engine. Can I give you credit on how clean this looks? Like there's no Thank exposed you. wires. I don't see a lot of zip ties for no reason. This is beautiful. Thank I, you. And you did this. Yep, me and my buddy Matt did this at Sideways Fab. This thing's and beautiful. And it has the factory Ferrari glitter on top. Yeah, yeah. That's not factory Ferrari. <laughs> what do you mean? No. I don't I don't own a Ferrari. Kids. Micah obviously he, knows more about yeah, Ferraris. Yeah, you know, Micah, tell us about it. You know Let me tell you a little bit about something about the Ferrari, okay? Main thing, logo, got a horse on it. Okay, what kind of horse is it? It's a Mustang. That's what that is, though. Yeah, big right. lawsuit in the 80s. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Sir, what, what kind of power does this Ferrari thing make? Around 420? I don't really know. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> What is this? Those are the oil lines for the dry sump system. Okay. Oh, this my boy is yeah, running a dry, dry sump. sump. Okay, oh, yeah, okay. You, got, you got Ferrari money. Are these pre-crisis blitz or post-crisis blitz? Post-crisis blitz, but I got them from my friend Mike Green in Orlando I've been friends with for a long time, and he hooked me up, so I got them really cheap. I'll What's, say that. I don't want to ask what's cheap these days for these, but I remember- He's got a Ferrari engine. I remember when these wheels yeah. were $1,000 before. Yeah. What transmission? is fueling all of this. It's got a T56 out of a Camaro huh. with a custom made adapter plate. Maserati, Ferrari, Camaro, FRS. I can add to that list too. It actually has Audi R8 coil packs as well. And it has car. all GM LS sensors on it. I've been asked a lot how we kind of figured everything out. And the answer I tell people is honestly, we just guessed. And it worked. And it worked. Like the coil packs, That's we just- we just randomly popped one in and it fits perfectly. I was gonna ask you, how does everything communicate? Like, what do you see when engine management? Was the so, harness or wiring a nightmare? It really wasn't that bad. Um, I'm running a MS3 Pro Ultimate ECU. Okay. I have a DBW X2 that controls my electronic throttle bodies on here. And then I have a wiring specialties CAN bus emulator that runs all my factory stuff in the car. So it's like factory cluster, tack, speedo, everything factory Ooh. works. I'm even adding air conditioning to it. I was just about to ask that. And cruise control. What? I used to watch a lot of the old videos Hurt made. Fortunately, he's not here today. He's probably at home taking it easy. I, uh, you could say that. I, I wanted it to be something I could get on the highway and cruise down the highway in it and take it to the track and have fun with it. Oh, so you actually so. drive this, drive this. Oh yeah, I drive it all the time. I take it to McDonald's before I go home. Can we take a look on the inside to see, what, uh, yeah, of course. see what's going on in the interior? So oh. it's got the dry sump tank right there. Oh yeah, you can see the lines kind of running through yep. the... That's clean though. And you got a fire extinguisher. Yes, sir. It's not bolted down, but it's there. That's all that matters, you got one. <laughs> Did the transmission bolt up to the factory location? Yeah, so I have a shifter relocation kit that just moved it back about two inches, but everything fit up perfectly. I just had to make a trans mount for it. I didn't really even have to hammer the firewall that much to get it to fit. What you got in the trunk? I can pop it. Oh. Man, she was looking at me when I was walking away. <laughs> stop, stop looking at what the? me, man, you filthy lady. Fancy pop, but that's hey, it. Oh. It works. It's Battery just got box. A, 
Rear battery, strut tire race. I pulled off a shelf that came off of an old Honda Civic that I just drilled another hole in. Yep. So this is, in my opinion, obviously a drift car. Yes. Have, have you ever mm -hmm. drag raced? I have never drag raced in my life. <laughs> cool. no, <you're> <laughs> Perfect. Typically what we do is we go a heads up race from a dig to a thousand foot. If that's cool, both of you guys, we'll jump yeah. right into it. Do it. Sounds good to me. Let's this is a grip battle. This is a grip game. We're going Mustang today. He named the car after me, Diego. I can't bet against my own seed. I birthed this boy, Gary Jr. Jr. So it's difficult for me because I obviously want to go to the drift car, but at the same time, I see big old fatty slicks, and if the weather holds up, Mustang boys. Time attack car has got sticky boys, so I'm giving it to the Cobra. Both my my body's locked. Oh, that looks fresh. That's fresh. Just pause it. If, can the editors like? Round one. Well, we the Mustang. Know, well, is, we don't know where it went, but I was not expecting the FRS on street tires yeah, right? to keep up with the Mustang on 345s. Mustang by two and a half cars. Uh, Mustang, Mustang by two and a half. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So Gary Jr. Jr. took the W. <laughs> All right, so you got it by two and a half cars. Now, at this point in the game, what we'll do is negotiation. So loser usually negotiates. What do you want to do? Do you want two cars? Do you want the hit? How about, let's do a car in the hit. Same distance? Yeah, same distance. Black and white flag, second set of flags. Perfect, that works for me. All right, here we go. That was easy. You good with that? <laughs> Sounds good. Man, these supercar drivers have it all figured out. I know, they if really people do. People are wondering you know? like why they didn't get out the cars. He's in the apparatus, he's in the apparatus. So it's best that they just, you know, office space talk that shit. Gear on the Cobra, it's just like, yeah. I like that. Is the Mustang right. playing? Bro, he really. All of us Is the Mustang dude. playing? All of, I don't, hey, look, I voted for him, so what's up, baby? <laughs> I tried, hey, you man. You was out I here, tried. my boy. You Thank was out you. here. Hey, congratulations. That was a lot of fun. Rips. I've Hell never yeah. drag raced. Hey, you can still win this. All you have to do is better donuts, and then the internet doesn't really. Oh, care. I got this okay. one. <laughs> I'll blow this Yo, thing yeah. up, man. Oh, I'll send it. My man with the strong gonna, one. I hope he hey. got a trailer. <laughs> Second gear, that's my, that's my boy. I birthed him. I never forget the day he was born. You ready? Hey, look at the yeah. look at the marks. We need donuts. <laughs> Oh, 
I broke it. I done seen this in animes all the time. Is there such thing as too loud? Oh, we got a raise. Oh. Oh.